Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The latest news is the president is proposing a corporate reduction deficit, deficit reducing tax decrease. What does all that mumble jumble mean? Oh, wait a minute. It means, well, let's see. You're going to take a little bit off here and then you're going to have to pay a lot more. Wait a minute. He has talked about that before. I guess that is no new news. Although they're bringing it up like it is new news. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Temporary tax. Yeah, right. Every time somebody else tells me a temporary tax, guess what? Yeah. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you can actually believe it because there, John McCain is basically, well, we don't need 20,000 border security guards. We just need to get a thing done so that we can have, so we can basically claim that we have security. We don't need to spend all of this. Well, what he needs is, is McCain and now since he's shifting over to the Democratic Party for re-election, is on there as well, you know, that's not a good place to put money. Let's put money into social programs for these people that are here. I think that's good in that social programs for people that are here. The um, president still calls all the problems he has as racist, phony scandals. Oh, I mean, this guy is just, uh, the, um, what, what is the smug addict? I mean, I heard one of the Democratic pollsters said, I get so angry at these people sometimes, I just want to take the back of my hand and slap them down because all they do is they have this smug, holier-than-thou attitude that you said these people don't even understand the people in this nation are pissed off about what this president is not doing. Mm -hmm. Not what he's doing, is now what he's not doing. It said he's in total denial mode, which is what you get into when you know you're on the verge of getting into big trouble. And when he should be the, uh, okay, here's the deal is, if you get rid of the problem, it goes away. He's refused to get rid of the problem. You throw him, like you throw him Hillary Clinton, which is, uh, I'm assuming that's why he had lunch with Hillary yesterday, because Bill Clinton has been basically saying, you're not going to throw my wife to the dogs. Mm -hmm. so. And Senate moves forward on transportation spending. Well, yeah, the Democrats want to spend money and the Republicans don't, which means that's a dead bill. Democrats always come to... Um, okay, they would actually get the infrastructure bill if it wasn't so rigged that they said only only unions will be allowed to bid on it, which is a violation of the government rules. It is. Every, the bid is supposed to go to the lowest bidder, not to the highest bidder that's using union personnel. And the Democrats never... That's why no infrastructure is being done is because they will not even pay attention to their own bidding rules that they set up. And China manufacturing weakens further as slowdown deepens the economy. Because nobody has any money. I mean, okay, you can't buy something with something you don't have. The Chinese are now discovering the same thing that, the, that Obama has discovered. You know, you can pump all the money you want into the economy, but that money does no good. Okay, um, when my grandmother was, one of my grand, great grandparents was in Germany before World War II, they literally took wheelbarrows of money in to go buy loaves of bread or pounds of sugar. Oh, that Be wasn't an exaggeration? No, they, they did it. They, got, they have pictures of them because that is what, the, what their money was worth. This is what our money is now worth in the United States. It's becoming worth nothing. Hmm. Treasury's Lou. Congress needs to pass a debt limit. No, they don't need to pass the debt limit all because what he wants to do is to give Obama an extent. Uh, 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 they want to raise the debt limit so he can spend more money. All you want to do, uh, the, the rule of thumb is they have a deal that says for every one dollar, every increase, you have to decrease spending by two dollars. And Obama wants that all removed so that he can spend as much as he wants. And it's not going to happen. I mean, this is. Oh, hey, Bill O'Reilly, you can't let this happen. You've got to give the president what he wants in order to keep our country going. And then other people, the young Republicans, we're going to have to get younger voters to come in, so we're going to have to be flexible on spending issues and keep our and keep our conservative roots. No, not if you've got to spend in tax, you're not keeping conservative roots. You're a Democrat, folks. And Senate approves James Comey as new FBI director. We had, we had one vote against him and six people not voting. You know, the, okay, the guy, they already know the guy is a stooge for the president and approved him by almost unanimous consent. 
And Kerry seeks reasonable compromises in Israeli Palestinian talks. Well, Kerry's re no, her, her re daddy said his idea of a reasonable compromise is Obama's idea of reasonable compromise. You turn Jerusalem over to the Muslims, you turn half of Israel over to the Muslims, and then that's then that's a reasonable compromise, which is never going to happen because. Everyone in the universe, but the President of the United States and Kerry and the Democratic Party understands they're never going to give them Jerusalem back. It's theirs. They want it in war. Mm -hmm. And Republican McConnell gets another election vote from the Tea Party. Well, because the man simply will not stand up. Okay. They actually, the other day, they won the battle over his appointments and then gave Obama the appointments. They won it. The court sided with them. The court once again has decided today that Obama did not have the authority to make appointments. Guess who got approved? 93 to 1. The, oh, day, really? the day before, the court said Obama didn't have a right to do it. And tricky obstacles are heading to a voting showdown. Uh, well, the obstacles are is that the, the Democrats want the government shut down and the Republicans uh, basically are going to cave into them. I, I mean, I heard... Um, Rand Paul saying, he said it would be nice if we actually had any backbone, but he said Republicans have no backbone anymore. He said, if they, he flat out said, if, if the president came over to Capitol Hill, bent over, and said, kiss my ass, you could literally be killed by the Republicans trampling over people in a hurry to go kiss his behind. Mm -hmm. Campaign against illegal immigrants in England strikes coalition. Yeah, well, because. Um, that you have people like the current Cam Cameron basically thinks that every person should be allowed to come into the country that wants to. And then you have the people that basically want to throw them out on their butts. You're not allowed to illegally come into England. They will throw your rear end. Oh, really? They put you on the next boat back to the country you came from regardless of whether they're going to shoot you when you get off the boat. Oh, really? And Cameron Could you wants... imagine if we had that policy here? We do have that policy. No, no. Could you imagine if we enforced that policy? We... But as long as the Democrats are in control, they will not enforce it. Because they look as the uh, uninvited guest as voters. Okay, what happens is they're abandoning black voters in this country. They need a new set. What happens, too, is that the Latinos have three children for every one the black voter has, and therefore your fastest growing uh, minority will soon be in the majority, and therefore they want those people voting with them. But the problem is, they don't seem to understand. Once they become the majority, they're going to kick all the Democrats off and become social, like the first socialist party of the United States, because they're all socialists, they're not Democrats. <laughs> they forget about that. Yeah. Fast food workers in New York City stage strikes and rallies. Oh, it's all over the United States. Okay, unions are striking all over the United States, and Obama today also. We need the rules changed. No longer a minimum wage in this country, but a living wage. Uh, and in response to the people about McDonald's, is nobody makes you work at McDonald's. They're, none of them are full-time jobs to begin with. You know, they're, they're part-time work. They're entrance-level positions, and they want an entrance-level position now to be $15 an hour to start. And fast food work, food, fast, oh wait, we already did that That's one. Right. Upton taps, taps gain to explore ethanol reform. Oh, okay. They said the reason why things are costing so much, part of the reason why, is Obama and the Democrats require you to use ethanol, which basically eats up all our grain. Instead of the grain going to food, it is now going to ethanol, and more of it is going to ethanol all the time, and the automobile manufacturers will flat out tell you, ethanol is not good for the engines of your automobiles. Uh -huh. That's why they put lead in them. Oh. If you have an aluminum block engine, it doesn't affect it. But since nine out of every ten car on the road happen to have a lead block engine, you're screwed. Oh, folks. that's interesting. Yep. Um, Republican lawmakers push Senate leaders over aid to Egypt. Yeah, because they're basically wanting it stopped because they said that, uh, that Obama allowed the Muslims to take control and they're getting ready to have another civil war. And uh, since he's not going to get involved, they just figure the Chinese are already funding the, new, uh, the military, so they no longer... Obama basically screwed everything up in Egypt like he has in every other Muslim country. Mm. And so much for immigration reform. Well, it's not going to happen because... The, Republicans are not going to vote for it. I mean, McCain is already saying there's no need for any of this enforcement, so.
And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, when you say something today, you have to remember that you may have said it in the past, and as soon as they hear the same words coming out of your mouth, they simply go to YouTube and it brought up a minute instantaneously on you.